in the Okay, so let's proceed with the next problem for horizontal shooting stress. Okay, so we have here a wide flange beam with the section shown in the figure and given a ring in vertical shear. So yun daw is equivalent to 16 kips. So no need for us to solve for the shear diagram. And wala rin namang binigay na beam. So, ayan. So, buti binigay na, no? So, mapapadali tayo. Okay, next. Compute the maximum shearing stress. And for letter B, uh, compute the shearing stress at the junction of the flange and web. So, ito, yung pinapahanap. Kasi dito, uh, meron kang dalawang base na pwedeng i-consider. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo doon sa naunang video. Okay, so, pakita ko sa inyo. And then last, so, draw or plot the shear stress diagram. So, ipapakita natin yung uh, stress diagram for this uh, I section. Okay, so before that, uh, ano muna ang gagawin natin? So, give na naman yung shear. Okay, so let's solve first for letter A. So, for A, compute the maximum shearing stress. So, Again, ano nga yung formula natin for shearing stress? Di ba siya equal sa BQ all over I, B. So, V is given as 16 kips, so we need to solve for Q. Um, kailangan natin gawin is to locate the location of the centroid or yung location ng neutral axis. So, since symmetrical naman yan, eh, di nasa gitna lang siya. Ayan. So, this is our neutral axis. So, for letter A, compute the maximum shearing stress. So, kapag maximum shearing stress nga, di ba yung kalahati yung ikinoconsider natin? Or, itong kabuoan na to. Ayan. Okay, so, ang gawin na lang natin, dahil hatiin natin sa dalawang rectangle. So, this is rectangle 1. And, this one is rectangle 2. So, again, Q is the static moment of area. So, yung area, yung moment mo lang with respect to the neutral axis. So, ilocate natin yung mga centroid niya. So, ano yung distance na to? So, knowing this is... Ilan ba to? So, ito 10. So, kalahati niya is 5 inches. So, 5 plus 1. So, 6. And then, minus yung centroid ng rectangle 1. So, it is equals to 0.5. Therefore, this distance is equivalent to 5.5. Okay? And next will be for this rectangle number 2. So, if this is 5, so, kalahati lang ng 5. So, that is 2.5 inches. Okay. So, to solve for Q. So, unahin natin si Q. So, Q is just equals to, unahin natin si area 1. So, A times 1. And then, multiply by the distance na 5.5. And then plus, itong rectangle 2. So, ang area niya is, ano ba yung width ng web? So, that is 1. And the height is 5. And the distance is 2.5. Okay, so what will be the value of our Q? So, 8 times 1 times 5.5 plus 1 times 5 times 2. .5. So, that is 56.5. Ang unit is inches to the cube. Okay, next. So, this time, yung letter I, uh, the moment of inertia would respect to the neutral axis. Ito. So, ito lang din siya. Na. Okay, so, ang gawin natin, uh, mama -ma. So, gets nyo naman yun, pagkuhan yung moment of inertia. So, ang gawin ko na lang, hatiin ko siya sa tatlong triangle. Ano? Triangle. Tatlong rectangle. So, ayan. So, mangyayari lang. Ah, sige, i-denote ko na lang siya as x. Yeah. Yung x is the distance with respect to sa neutral axis. ba ang transferred equation ng moment of inertia is ix bar plus ad squared. So, yung may mga x na to, ito yung mga location ng distance niya. Kung saan yung rectangle number 2 coincides with the 
location of the neutral axis therefore yung D dito sa rectangle 2 is equals to 0 ok so yung rectangle 1 mo naman and then yung rectangle 3 is just the same or equals so ang gawin natin i-multiply na lang natin ang 2 so una natin for rectangle 1 and rectangle 3 so again i-multiply ko na lang ng 2 since pareho lang naman siya so bh cube over 12 so ang base mo is 8 times 1 cube over 12 plus the area so 8 times 1 area ng rectangle and then the distance so 5.5 squared don't forget the squared and then plus yung para kay rectangle 2 so bh cube over 12 so 1 times the height na 10 cube over 12 Okay lang, i-plus 0 ko na lang. Okay, so again, yung, yung D niya is equivalent to 0 kasi nag-coincide siya dun sa neutral axis. Okay, so knowing that, we have now the value for the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. So 2 times 8 times 1 cubed divided by 12 plus... Ah, dapat pala. Nasa labas yung 2. And 2 times 2 ko na lang. 2 times 8 times 1 times 5 times 5 squared. It's 1 times 10 cubed. So that is 568.6667. So that is inches raised to 4. Okay, next. Yung B natin, or yung base. So ano ba yung... Uh, ito yung... Q na kinoconsider natin. So, yung lumapat na B with respect to sa neutral axis is ito. So, ang B niya is just equals to 1 inches. Okay, so we can now solve for the shearing stress. So, substitute nilang yung mga value na nakuha natin kanina. So, dito ko nalang isulat ha. So, for letter A, paubos na yung tinta nito. Okay, so for letter A, so that is the shearing stress is equals to V which is equal to 16 kips. So, i-KSI natin na. So, okay lang yan. Retain natin. 16 VQ. So, 56.5 inches to the cube over I na 568.6667 times 1. So, what is the value of the shearing stress? So, this is the maximum. So, 16 times 56.5 divided by 568.6667 So, the shearing stress is 1.5897 KSI Okay, next Let's now solve for letter B Okay, do sa letter B uh, Dalawa yung magiging sagot natin Since Ang mangyayari kasi Imagine nyo na lang to Di ba ang pinapahanap is yung shearing stress at the junction of the plunge and then eto. So, ang gagawin natin, yung area na i-consider natin is itong plunge. Okay? So, take note na yung base natin kasi pwedeng dalawa. Una, pwedeng ito. Tama? Ito yung moment na imagine nyo na lang, lumampas siya ng kaunti dun sa base ng plunge. So, nandito na siya banda sa baba. Kaya, ang kinonsider nating base is yung 1 inches. At the same time, pwede rin kasi yung B na i-consider natin dito sa flange is ito. Ayan. Yung buong yan. So, therefore, yung B. So, una, ang gamitin natin is B for the web. That is 1 inches. And yung isa is the beam of the flange, which is equivalent to 8 inches. Okay? So, ayun. So, ang key natin is for this plunge, so, 8 multiplied by 1 times 5.5. So, 8 times 5.5 is equals to 44 inches to the cube. Next, Okay, so pinatahimik ko lang yung aso. Balik tayo. Next, uh, meron naman na tayong value ng i. So, same lang din naman yung gagamitin natin. So, ayan, kompleto na rin. So, una, 
unahin natin yung sa shearing stress. But ito ang uh, kinocompute natin is at the junction ha. So again ulitin ko, yung junction ito. Yung moment na papunta na siya dun sa web. So again, dalawa yung pwedeng maging base. Una, una, una. Una. So, una dyan is yung ito. Yung base. Ang nai-consider natin is yung 8 inches. <laughs> ano? So, ito yung moment na before ka pumunta, papunta dun sa web. So, i-illustrate na natin. So, ganito yung gusto kong sabihin eh. Ayan. So, ang ibig sabihin ko doon, ito yung hinahanap eh, sa junction. Pag sinabing junction, yung uh, parang boundary yan eh. Yung papuntaan na doon sa sunod na barangay. So, sa junction na yan, pwede kasing dalawa. Para dito sa shilling test doon sa junction. Pwede ito yung base eh. So, sinasabi kong moment bago ka pumunta doon sa web, itong base na to. Ayan yung sinasabi natin. So, nilang, uh, ginawa ko, nilampas ko lang ng kaunti doon sa web. And then, pangalawa, the moment na nakarating ka na doon sa web. Ayan. So, ito. So, ito yung base ng ating flange and ito yung base ng ating web. So, mas magagas nyo rin to pag punta natin doon sa diagram. Kapag clean up na natin siya. Ano? So, una... So, shearing stress, so sabihin na lang natin to as for the flange. So, VQ, so again, shearing stress is 16 times Q na 44 over the moment of inertia na 568.6667 times B, which is 8 inches. So, 16 times 44 divided by 568.6667 divided by 8. So, that is 1.5529. Okay? And then, yung isa, so, shearing stress for the moment na nandung ka na sa web. So, that will be 16 times 44 over 568.6667 times 1. Ano? So, nandito ko na. So, 16 times 44 divided by 568.6667 divided by 1. So, that will be 1.23798. Okay? So, ito yung magiging answer mo. Jen. Okay, next. Okay. This time, we will now plot the stress, the shear stress diagram for this I section or W section. Okay, so if you're going to analyze this, ito, pwede kasi paunti-unting lumang iyan eh. So di ba ang una na ang four letter biyang ang consider natin is ito. So at the same time, pwede kasi tayong kumuha dito ng maliit. So, pagpalagay natin yung height na to. So, that is 0.00001. So, with that, ano ko sa tingin nyo yung magiging value ng Q natin? Di ba ito is magiging almost zero na rin siya? Therefore, ang ibig sabihin nun, so habang lumalaki yung iyong depth ng iyong kinoconsider na Q, so lumalaki yung value ng iyong shearing stress. Therefore, So, kapag renewing natin yung kanyang uh, yung ating stress diagram so ito so pagpantay-pantayin lang natin siya so ibig sabihin zero siya dito tama? kasi ito sobrang nipis nito eh 
or yun nga, yung kanina ko sinabi, 0.000001. So that is almost zero pagdating sa sharing stress. So habang lumalaki ka, uniform, lumalaki rin siya ng paunti-unti. Ano? So tinapat ko lang dito sa web nito. Ayan. So ano nga yung value natin kanina dito? So ilatag natin yung formula. Di ba? Shearing stress is VQ over IB. So dito, ang una natin consider is yung malapad na B. Hindi ka pa naaasapit doon sa junction. Papunta ka pa lang dito sa ano. So ang ipinaplat natin is yung shear stress diagram considering yung flange pa lang. Kasi nandito pa lang tayo eh. So ano yung magiging value niya? So if dapat yung B niya is equivalent to 8. So, ibig sabihin, if your denominator is increasing, dapat maliit yung magiging value ng stress mo. And kapag ito, maliit yung value ng B, dapat malaking stress na develop. Imagine mo na lang, di ba, kung mataba ka, ah, hindi ka naman basta mabibigay eh. O pag tinula, hindi ka basta matutumba. Compared sa manipis na Ano agad? Ano? So, ayan. So, ano yung value natin dito? So, that is 1.552. Bakit mas malaki pa rin ito? E, mal malaki yung dinamin. Verify nga natin. 568.6667. 0. Point, okay. So, nagkamali tayo ng pindot kanina. This is 0. 0.1547. PSI. So, 0 0.47, one point lang pala yan. 0 0.1547. And then next, yan, dito na tayo. This time, yung portion ng web naman yung i-consider natin. Yung moment na lumampas na siya. Ano? So, ano magiging base niya? Verify lang ulit natin. One. So, tama, 1.23. So, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ng sudden increase dito. Nung pumatak na siya dun sa web. Kasi nga, ang nangyari, yung base mo, earlier, that is equivalent to 8, which is 0 0.1547. Eh ngayon, naging 1 na. So, lumaki ka. So, pagdating dito, tumaas dito bigla. So, naging 1.23798. And then dito, sabi nga sa neutral axis, dito magiging maximum yung kanyang horizontal shearing stress. Okay? So, Pagdating dito, nag-increase siya at a value of Nasaan yung kanina? Nasaan yung shares? Ayan. So, naging 1.5897 KSI ka dito. So, ito yung magiging value ng maximum. So, ganito ka magpa-plot ng shearing stress on a W section or kahit anong section. Ano? Ginanalyze mo siya. So, ayan. So, ang value naman nito dito, same part, same lang din naman. 1.23798. And dito, 0 0.1547. And then, magsisira ko ulit dito. Ayan. So, ganyan yung kanyang shear stress diagram. Okay. So, I hope you understand. And uh, with that, uh, let's proceed with the next topic. So, this time, do sa sunod na topic, Magdi-design na tayo considering the horizontal shearing stress and the flexural stress. So gagamitin na natin yung dalawang formula. Ano?